Hello and welcome. In this video, we will be going through the steps to replace the bearings and drive shaft in a MAG 8200 sharpener. Now this process is the same for an 8100 if you happen to have that unit. So let's get started. In this process, I'm going to remove the grit guard. Now this normally wouldn't be necessary, but for the video, I'm going to remove the grit guard so that you have a better view of how we're getting the bearing spindle out. We'll begin by taking off the front cover. And removing the grinding wheel. Remember the grinding wheel arbor nut is a left-handed thread. Now that we have the grinding wheel off, the grit guard off, and the modular work table insert removed, you have a lot more vision to see where we're going in this uh, bearing replacement video. So the bearing hub is this silver cylinder right here. We're gonna need to take a couple more guards off to allow access for that to come out. Here's the bearing spindle kit that you can purchase at magnematic.com. It is part number 8200 dash 25 dash kit and it is a full you could say almost cartridge it's the full spindle with the bearings set all the retaining rings and spring washers along with the drive shaft all set where this what we're going to do next is very simply place this in in three bolts and we'll have a very quick swap out of the whole bearing assembly this makes it for a very quick and easy servicing of the 8200 or 8100. The first step is removing the pulley guards from the side. By removing the larger pulley guard, it exposes two screws that we couldn't get to before. We also need to remove this triangle as part of the active guard. Our next step is to remove the rest of the active guard. We'll be doing that by removing this nylock nut from this button head screw. Do keep in mind this active guard is connected to a spring. Now we're free to quickly take the spring off the active guard so we can get that out of our way. Next, we'll be walking the belt off of the drive pulley. Next, we'll be removing the drive pulley from the drive shaft. Now we can lower the adjustment down to give ourselves more room. This will also allow us to access all the three screws that are holding in the bearing hub. The next step is to remove the drive pulley, which we can do by using the arbor wrench in the arbor itself to hold the arbor in place while we use an impact gun to get the quarter inch bolt out. Now that the bolt is out of the end of the shaft, we can easily pull the drive pulley off of the shaft. The next step is to remove the arbor from the drive shaft. Now do keep in mind, both the drive shaft pulley and the arbor, we do put red Loctite on, so sometimes they can be a little stubborn.
Now that the guards have been removed, the drive pulley and the arbor have been removed from the drive shaft, we now have the clearance to remove the whole bearing spindle. You'll use a 7 16 wrench and socket. collect our three nuts that fell down. Now do keep in mind these are what are called distorted lock nuts. They have a little dimple stamped in them. They are a one-time use nut. They are distorted so a lock washer is not necessary. So you will get new hardware, both new screws as well as new nuts when installing this kit. Now we can remove the bearing spindle. First I'll remove two of the bolts. and then remove the last one and just secure the hub knot from falling. Now, sometimes depending on the tension of these two plates, uh, you may not fully clear the retaining rings there on the side, so you may need to pull on them just a little from the side to give yourself some clearance to get by the retaining rings. Now that we have everything open and the old bearing spindle out, we can now install the new bearing spindle. And again, this process is just the reverse of what we had just done to put it all back together. We'll do this at a little bit faster camera speed uh, so you can still see the whole process without having to um, watch it at the one time speed. And another little tip and trick is when you're placing this in, you know, have a bolt in the other hand right away and when you slip the bearing spindle in, again, you may need to spread the arms just a little bit for clearance of the retaining rings. And then once you have it in there, if you start one bolt, it'll stay static. The next little tip is because it is a tight fit where the nuts go, you can take an open-ended wrench, put a little bit of electrical tape on one side of it. This allows you to place the nut in the wrench and the tape will hold it from falling. So you're not having to fight with it. Now you can make adjustments to get to all, the, to, get to all these screws, uh, but this is a lot of times a little faster and a little easier.
And for our last step, we'll click plug the unit in and give it a test. Now this MAG-8200 is back up and running and ready to sharpen. Again, you can get all parts and support at magnematic.com. If you do have any problems or questions, certainly give us a call. We'll be happy to help you over the phone as well. And do keep in mind too, while this cartridge style kit for the bearing spindle is a very easy way to purchase, we will also offer the bearings and the retaining rings and all the individual parts uh, by themselves. If you would like to simply just press new bearings into your existing spindle, which will be a little lower cost, cost option in comparison to getting the whole assembly. I certainly thank you for watching. And again, any questions, give us a call. Please like and subscribe if you like this content. Thank you very much for watching.